Hi everyone. Now I will show you how to deploy and configure contracts for cross-chain. This is the first run. First of all, we need to bind the application to a new domain. To do this, connect the wallet. Switch to the network where the settings are stored. And deploy the contract where the site settings will be stored. Ready. Now we can start setting up the cross chain. Go to the contracts tab. Deploy a contract where the backend settings will be stored. Save it in the site settings. Ready. Now we need to create an address for the back end. This address will control the exchange process. To work, he needs some coins to pay the network commission. Let's generate a new address in the MetaMask. Don't forget to save changes. Good. Now we need to deploy the router contract. This contract will manage the liquidity pool. Only one such contract is needed for each network. The contract is ready. We save information about it in the main configuration.
Now we can start adding tokens that the bridge will exchange. For example, I will use a test tether token. For each token, we need to create a rapid token. These tokens will be received by users who add liquidity. This can be called a guarantee receipt. When liquidity is removed, this token will be exchanged for the original token. Rapid token is ready. Do not forget to save information about it in the main backend config. We also need to specify the exchange parameters, such as minimum and maximum swap amount, minimum and maximum fee, as well as the limit, above which the exchange will require verification by the owner. Ready. We have just configured the settings for one network. Let's now do the same for the other bridge network. I will use POA Sokol as an example. Select the desired network in the MetaMask. Deploy liquidity router contract. You can switch to the main config network and save the router information. And you can do it later. We still need to deploy the rapid token in this network. Let's do that. Ready. On this network, we have done everything that needs to be done. Now let's switch to the network of the main config, and save the information about the newly created contracts.
Liquidity Contract First Select the newly created contract from the list and save information about it. Waiting for transaction confirmation. Ready. Now wrap a token. We also select a new contract from the list. And save. Do not forget to specify the exchange parameters. Ready. We have just set up cross-chain bridge settings for Tether on two networks. The next, final step. Installing the backend following the instructions. And running the backend using the specified command, where the private key is the key from the validator node address. After setting up and launching the backend. You will only need to specify its address. Installation, launch of the backend. An example of adding liquidity and exchange between networks will be in the next video. Greetings. Last time we configured the basic settings. In this video, we will set up the backend. Let's get started. Step 1 Let's go to AWS Amazon. Step 2 Let's find the image of the back end. The image can be found in the community section. Choose it and launch the instance. Enter the name of the new instance. Allow web traffic. And launch. Now you need to set up a domain for the back end. The IP address of the domain must point to the newly created instance. Specify this domain in the validator node address section. and save the changes.
Now you can start the back end. Copy this command, specify the private key for wallet from the validator node network address section. Go to Amazon and connect to the backend instance. Paste and run the copied command. The setup process may take some time. Wait for it to complete. Ready. The backend is configured and running.